Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about a very important topic that I am always asked about, which is, Nelly, how do I make consistent sales in my business? In case you're new to my channel, my name is Nelly Abogi, aka Niger Brand Chic, and I help you to dominate and monetize social media. So if this is your first time here, this channel is about three things, African entrepreneurship, social media marketing, as well as business growth. In my last video, I mentioned that I'll be giving shout out to two business owners who actually put up a comment here and also shared it on their stories on Instagram. So make sure you watch to the end to know who those two business owners are. So let's talk about how we can make consistent sales in our business. Now, if you notice the norm, everybody is either making a launch or when you create a launch, then, oh, wow, people just come in, take your content, there's a buzz. And after a while, everything dies down. And because things dies down, what happens? You're not going to be making the sales that you want the way that you want it consistently. But if there's a way you can actually market your product, market your business that comes sun, come rain, come anything, you have something to sell. I have done exactly this with some of my courses. And these courses helps me to make money consistently online. Now, how do you do it? There are a lot of people who love to go through the launch stage where they launch, but as I said earlier, it doesn't always work. So I'm going to take you on some steps that will help you to sell consistently online. Number one, have a never ending WhatsApp funnel. What I mean by this is that you need to have a way that people will consistently flow into your WhatsApp. The more people you get into your WhatsApp through a funnel, you continue to have more sales. There are many ways you can do this. You can do this by actually offering some freemium. You can do this by, uh, by tapping into other people's network. But whatever you do, make sure you get people to come into your WhatsApp. You can run ads, you can do whatever you want to do. So that means if you're going to be running ads, the ads will continuously be consistent. That will get people to come on board. And then you create something that they will love. And then from there, you, you market to them. So now when you do that WhatsApp, you're not immediately going to sell to them. You're taking them through a series and then they will start to trust you. They will start to love you. And when they love you, what happens? They will want to pack their money with you. So I want you to take this seriously. Where you have a never ending WhatsApp funnel, ah, you know, somebody will ask me, Nelly, why WhatsApp? Why not email? Why not? I'm talking about Nigerians here. I'm talking about Africans here. We all know we love our WhatsApp. We all know how personal this is. If you can build a WhatsApp list every month, like 2,000 to 5,000, and you consistently do that, you're, 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 you're going to make it. There's no way you have 2,000 to 3,000, 5,000 people on your WhatsApp and you're not making sales. Then there's something wrong. So make sure you get people into your WhatsApp funnel consistently. The next thing I want you to do is to find a way to get into other people's circle of influence. What do I mean? There's a time it will get that the people you know, the people within your area or your own um, community, you would have exhausted them. You would have sold to them. So you need to get into more people's faces. And how do you get into more people's faces? For instance, you have a friend. Her name is Ada. Ada has her own group of friends that maybe are not also your friends. Or she has a group of other people she knows. And then you now tell Ada, Ada, hey, can you help me to talk about my stuff here in your space? Another goes ahead to do that. She has introduced you into her own circle of friends. Do you see that? Her, so that's her circle of friends are also her own circle of influence. So she's now using her own influence to tell them that they should come over to your space. How do you do this? You can do this by running ads. You can do this by giving a freemium. You can do this by affiliate marketing, which is obviously what everybody likes to do these days. So when you do such things, people will now um, begin to know about your products, about your services, and you expand and expand your circle of influence. And more people get to know about you, what happens? Your products will be sold more and more. That's why a lot of people like to use all those tell somebody about my product, word of mouth marketing. Because truthfully, when you look at word of mouth marketing, it's one of the best ways to market your business here in 2022. So 
Why don't you think about it? Start getting into other people's circle of influence. Now, the next one I want you to focus on is to start doing Google ads, start working on targeting your niche, start working on keyword research. Ha! You know, people don't focus on Google ads. Did you notice that? What people do is that they focus on every other thing except Google ads. They love Facebook ads, they love other, they really don't do that. And the few that learn or understand how to do this Google ads and do it excellently well, do you see what happens? They always, always, always sell out. Go and learn how to do Google Ads. Go and learn how to do target marketing. Go and learn how to do keyword research. You can use applications like Uber Suggest to know the keywords that are good for your you know, business. Okay. So go ahead and do that. So the next thing I want you to, I want you to do is to focus on transformational relationships over transactional relationships. Let me explain. So with transactional relationships, somebody comes to buy from you today and they're bought, they, you leave them, you, they go. In transformational relationship, you're focusing more on you know, following up on this customer, focusing more on loyalty, focusing more on rewards, telling this person, I just, I want more than just you being a buyer and seller relationship. I want, I want us to also grow something out of this. You know, you help them out, they help you out. And before you know it, now this person is now in your corner. Anytime there's something they need or someone else needs what you're selling, they will recommend you, they'll talk about you. And before you know it, instead of you to just have that sales once with this customer, this particular customer may even be bringing you more sales into your business without you having to do so much work. So a lot of people just focus on, I have made that sale and they move on. I don't want you to be that person. I want you to focus on being that person that creates relationships, that focuses on relationships because you know that it is over time that this, your relationship you have been creating will actually pay off. So now I want you to go back to your DM Go back to your WhatsApp, all those your customers you have not spoken to in a long time. Go and just ask them, how are you doing? How are you faring? I hope everything is fine. Just talk to them. And this time around, you're not talking to them because you want to, them to buy something from you. You're talking to them because you just want to create a relationship. Okay? You will see how that will turn out. Trust me, sometimes like, oh my God, I didn't believe that you're going to call me. I didn't believe that you're going to send me a message. I didn't believe they're going to check up on me. And before you know it, what else? You have a lot of people recommending your business, buying again, all because you're focusing on relationship, which is transformational, not transactional. So the next one I want you to focus on is to start doing retargeting ads on Facebook. Now, why you are running ads? I know you can you, you put ads to run and all. That's not what I want you to focus on. Retargeting ads are ads that you actually show again to people who have seen your ads. But this time around, you're asking them, why is it that you have not bought it? You're following up on them. So you're creating an ad that will help to retarget them because they have showed interest or maybe they forgot. Do you understand? Because all these things happen. And when people forget, they were like, oh, uh, I can't find the page. I can't find this. But if you're running ads to retarget them, or maybe they search up for something that is related to what you're doing. And because of your created a retargeting ad, they will find your ad and then they will buy from you. Trust me, retargeting ads are very powerful. I used it a lot when I want to do my DSI Academy. And guess what? The results are game changers. So try it out now and you will see the results that you will get. The next one I want you to do is to start collecting emails from a freemium you gave your people. Maybe you gave your customers something and you asked for your, their emails to follow up on them or something. I want you to not just collect. I want you to please send that email. When you send out emails to your customers, when you send out emails to people, they feel like there's a connection they have with you. They feel like they are they are close to you or they know some things about you that others don't know and when they do that they will start to build a relationship with you and when they build a relationship with you what happens consistent sales people see emails in different times because sometimes people see it almost immediately others see it much later but what matters is that they see you and then they will click and they will also buy 
what you're selling. So look for a way to get people into your email list. People who you know that are what is. So not everybody. Don't go and buy email from somewhere. Or no. Make sure that these emails are targeted to people who have worked with you or known you, understood what you do, and then they will be able to feel free to buy from you. Now, this one is our last, but the most important. I want you to start creating content that focuses more on value as well as case studies. Okay, so Nelly, what's this? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, let me give you a simple example. Um, everybody is doing how to grow your sales on Instagram, how to do this one on Instagram, how to do that one on Instagram, how to, you know, it's the normal cliche. So when I see that, I don't think I want to watch or want to read or because what else are you going to tell me that I don't know? I can't get on Google. I can't get on YouTube. I can't get with just Googling somebody else. You know, it sounds so cliche how to grow yourself on Instagram. However, imagine you said how a marker made 300,000 Naira for the whole of 2021 as opposed to 1.5 million as in January 2022, here on Instagram. Let me show you the breakdown. Please tell me, would you prefer to hear that one? Or would you prefer to hear how to increase your sales in 2022 on Instagram? So with, with that other one, where we are talking about Amaka as a case study, you can see that you can identify with an Amaka. You can see that Amaka resonates with you, your business, right? You can see that with Amaka, you're like, you're curious because maybe it's your, you're in the same shoes. So like, how did she grow her business so exponentially? Do you understand? So then you start giving the, the, the details. Okay, Amaka did this. Amaka did that. Amaka did this. So instead of saying, number one, go and do this, go and do that, like that other person will be doing, which is also cliche, and they'll be wondering why people are not always checking their page. The other person is still saying the same thing, no? But this time around, they're using Amaka as a case study. So Amaka now did this, Amaka now did that, Amaka. Then they will not ask their audience a question. What do you think Amaka should do next to hit 5 million? Everybody will start commenting. Amaka should do this. Amaka should do that. Amaka should do this. And you'll now be wondering why is it that this person has more engagement than me? It's because of the person has learned how to use value and case studies. Why you are not doing that? So when they start talking this way, what happens is that people start to love the brand. And when we start loving your brand, what happens? We will want to buy from it because we know that sense they your head. So with this now, what happens is that we are now trying trying to normalize consistency. So we're not trying to normalize sales consistency. Every time you're selling because people love the way you tell your stories, love the way you create your content because it is just amazing. So tell me, let me even trade to you. So tell me in the comment section, how are you planning to make more consistent sales in your business this year? I want you to also know something. There is no wrong or right answer. Everybody is correct. So please share what you're doing. I will be in the comment section reading and also giving out some pointers. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please remember to subscribe. I need it. And also hit the notification button so that you will know when I have another video up for you. So as discussed last week, I will be sharing out to you two of my CSS, which simply means my people who comment, who subscribe, and also share to their Instagram stories right here, and also trying to share back that love and also support your own business. So if it's something you're also interested in, also make sure you also share, watch to the end, and tell other people about me. So here is the first person, and here is what she does. And also, this is the second person and what she does. Please help me to patronize these people, buy from them. And also, if you want me to mention you in my YouTube channel, all you need to do is comment, watch to the end, subscribe, and put it up on your Instagram stories and tag me. You can be the next person I will be putting up on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, this is Niger Branchick.